Well, welcome back. We're going to do some trigonometry, my favorite. Actually, I used to hate this stuff until I got really good at it. Uh, and now I love it because it's a piece of cake. So that's what I want to do for you guys, too. Okay. Uh, here's an example of what we're going to do. Um, simple question. Find the exact value of sine, cosine, and tangent of negative two-thirds pi. Uh, what this means is radians because it, it uh, doesn't say a unit, so we assume it's radians. Okay. Now let's cover another video. So let's look at what is two-thirds pi. Okay. Uh, of our circle, a unit circle, remember that pi is one way around, and then two pi is, the, uh, sorry, pi is up to here, and then another pi there, so two pi total. So if we're going to divide the pi into thirds, so we're, we're talking about two thirds of pi, um, for every one unit of pi, we need to have it divided into thirds. So there's one, two, so there's this section, so uh, 180 divided by three is 60. So what this will be is a 60 degree, this will be a 60 degree, and this will be a 60 degree. And what we'll have here is uh, uh, one third pi, two, oops, not two thirds, two third pi, and three third pi, which is really the same as one pi. Okay. Uh, but likewise, on the other side, we have to keep going. This should be straight lines across. Uh, this would be four thirds pi. This would be five thirds pi. And this would be 6 thirds pi. Interesting, that's the same as 2 pi. Okay, so we'll just or maybe erase that. Erase that. So we have it around uh, in, in pi thirds. Okay, so there's our lines. And okay, so each section is uh, 60 degrees here. This here is just our x and y axis here. Okay, so I'll just. Now, anyway, it says negative 2 thirds pi. So when we're talking about negative, that means we're going clockwise. So let's look at that. Negative uh, two-thirds pi clockwise. So this will be one-third pi negative. This will be another one-third pi negative. We're dealing with this angle right here then. Okay. So we can call this angle uh, four-thirds pi if we, if we measure it going this way around. Positive four-thirds pi. But it's also the same as negative two-thirds pi if we measure it from this side, okay? Now let's zoom in here and see what we're really dealing with here. So here is, um, this is gonna be 60 and then 30, okay? So here's our unit circle. This is what we're dealing with. This is, uh, I'll, I'm gonna use the 4 thirds pi, just makes better sense for me. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the x-axis here and make our triangle. Okay, so this is a 90 degree triangle, and we're going to figure out what, what it is. Now remember, uh, every, uh, because we divided this into 6, uh, sorry, we divided 2 pi into, into 6 groupings, that means each grouping is going to be 60 degrees right across here. So uh, from here to here is going to be 60 degrees. This makes a perfect 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay? And our radius in a unit circle is 1, positive 1, because... Uh, it's measuring a, a distance from the beginning to the outside. Um, okay, so what's sine? Well, we're talking about this angle here. Um, hmm. We need to know it, uh, sine of theta. Uh, theta is 60 degrees. So we're talking about... Uh, excuse me a second here. Uh, we need opposite over, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, we have hypotenuse. That's one. But we don't have... Uh, this side, uh, or this side. Well, um, when I, I did this earlier in my head here, sine 30, for example, we can, we can get the sine of this angle here. Sine 30 is uh, 0.5. I know that. That's something that, that, uh, that I know here. So what that means is the opposite over adjacent, okay? Sine 30 would be opposite over adjacent, which would be uh, 0.5 over 1. Okay, so that, that, that's how I know that the opposite is, is uh, 0.5. Why I need to know that is because I wanted to determine one of the sides of this triangle. So now I have two sides of the triangle. Okay? That's my goal. Uh, doing this all by hand here, so I have one side, a second side, right triangle. I want to get this side of the triangle in order, 
I can't build my ratios until I have all three sides of my triangle, right? So I'm going to quickly try and find out what this ratio is here, or what this side is here, I mean. So I'll do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that's the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and what I have is uh, 0.5 squared plus, I'm going to use a fraction, I like that better. Fraction plus b squared equals 1 squared. Well, this is, this is really uh, 1 quarter plus b squared equals 1. So if I subtract a quarter from both sides to isolate b, I get uh, b squared equals 3 quarters. Okay, now watch this. Get back over here. If b squared equals 3 quarters, I'm looking for b, which is the, the leg of the triangle. Well, uh, you know, grade 7, I'll just take the square root of both sides. So that cancels out with that. I'll have to b there. But on this side, I've got root 3 over root 4. Solve it some more. b equals, that can't go any further. That's just root 3. But root 4, well, I mean, we could make a decimal. But if we make a decimal, then we're no longer precise. I want you to keep it as a radical, because then you're going to keep the precise measurement. And uh, root 4 is just 2. So b is root 3 over 2. So what that means is, now we have of our triangle here, that we found by going negative 2 thirds pi radians, we developed this triangle, now we know what all three sides are. Now that we know the sides are, we can uh, make our ratios. So I'm going to erase this here. Da, 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 da. I'm going to erase this here. Now let's quickly do it here. So uh, sine of theta, now we're talking about this angle here now, okay? 60, we're talking about the, the theta angle here. Sine of theta, well, I'll just call it, well, I'll just keep calling it theta. Um, it equals opposite over hypotenuse, which equals um, opposite here, that's root 3 over 2, okay? Uh, root 3 over 2 divided by hypotenuse, which is 1. Well, that's easy. Denominator of 1, don't have to write it. Okay, so sine of theta is this. Cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 0.5 over 1, which is, well, you know, that's simply 0.5. And then tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent, which is this over that, okay, so point, uh, root 3 divided by 2 divided by 0.5, well, I'm going to just say divided by 1 half, okay? Um, okay, when we divide a fraction, that's like the same as saying times in by its reciprocal. Let's see what happens here. So the 2 over 2 cancels, and I'm left with root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Okay, so tan theta equals 3. Simple as that. So here's our ratios. There, there, and, and there. Um, all I needed to do to get that was a little bit of grade 9 Sokotoa, and then a little bit of grade 9 Pythagorean theorem, and then poof, there we go. All right, any questions on that? Give me a holla.